from Washington, this is VOA News. The UN and Syrian opposition officials hold informal meetings. In northwest Pakistan, a bomb kills at least 40. I'm Vincent Bruce reporting from Washington. Leaders of Syria's main opposition coalition have told the United Nations Security Council they are dedicated to democracy and, op- and oppose extremism. VOA's Margaret Bashir reports from the United Nations. British Ambassador Mark Lyle Grant, who convened Friday's meeting, says a key focus of the talks was finding ways to end Syria's brutal civil war and to help its victims. We heard a very positive message from President Al Jerba, who made a very strong statement of commitment to the unity of Syria. He condemned extremism and he rejected terrorism. Ahmed al-Jarba, the newly elected National Coalition of Syria president, led the Syrian opposition delegation to the meeting. For months, the international community, and most recently the United States and Russia, have been working to get representatives from Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government and the opposition to meet in Geneva. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations. At least 40 people were killed and many others wounded by twin explosions in northwest Pakistan on Friday. Officials say the blasts occurred in a busy market in a town near the border with Afghanistan. More details at voanews.com. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is expected to travel to Pakistan in the next few days. It will be his first visit to the South Asian nation since the new government of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif took office in May. VOA's Sharon Bain reports from Islamabad that talks likely will focus on the two countries' often rocky bilateral relations and regional cooperation, particularly with Afghanistan. The future of Afghanistan's and Pakistan's economic needs is likely to dominate talks between U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Pakistan's leadership during Kerry's planned visit to Islamabad. Former Ambassador to the United States Maliha Lodi says this first high-level engagement between Mr. Sharif's new government and the Obama administration will give the Pakistani leader the opportunity to reset what often has been a rocky relationship. The immediate issue is how to revive the stalled Doha process, which was aimed at bringing the United States, the Taliban, as well as the Afghan government together. Sharon Bain, VOA News, Islamabad. The case of U.S. soldier Bradley Manning, charged with leaking thousands of classified government documents, is in the hands of a military judge. Manning attorney David Combs summed up his defense Friday by calling his client a whistleblower who wanted the public to know about what he saw as U.S. misdeeds in Iraq. The leaked material included video of U.S. soldiers on a helicopter shooting Iraqi civilians. Twelve people were killed, including two Reuters journalists. The U.S. military says the soldiers thought the Iraqis were carrying weapons. Tunisia's government says a leading opposition figure assassinated Thursday and another political leader killed earlier this year were killed by bullets from the same gun. Waves of anti-government protesters took to the streets of the capital and other cities Friday while supporters of the ruling party staged counter-protests. Henry Ridgewell reports for VOA from London. Thousands of protesters gathered on the streets of Tunis and other cities following the murder of Mohamed Brahmi. Many accused the ruling Ennada party of involvement in the killing, a claim the party has strenuously denied. Interior Minister Lotfi ben Jadou contends a radical Islamist group of Salafists carried out the killings. Demonstrators waved Egyptian flags as a sign of solidarity with the protests that prompted Egypt's military to oust Muslim Brotherhood President Mohamed Morsi earlier this month. The violence comes as Tunisia's lawmakers are finalizing work on a new constitution due to be put to a public vote in the coming weeks before presidential elections later in the year. Henry Richwell for VOA News, London. 
Pope Francis has encouraged young people to honor their grandparents as he addressed a, war a crowd in Rio de Janeiro during the Catholic Church's World Youth Day celebrations on Friday. The United States is telling Russia it will not seek the death penalty or torture American intelligence leaker Edward Snowden if Moscow expels him to the United States to face espionage charges. Snowden's Russian lawyer, Anatoly Koshyarenya, told VOA is a Russian service on Thursday that the consideration of Snowden's request for asylum in Russia has been complicated by his not understanding the Russian legal system. Spanish police have detained the driver of that speeding train that crashed Wednesday, killing at least 78 people. People, uh, Police say they are investigating Francisco Jose Garzón Amo for criminal recklessness. I'm Vincent Bruce, VOA News, reporting from Washington.